Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome to any new viewers. So if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below, you'll, see, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for today's project. And I am super duper excited to show y'all this project. I got this idea from a decor piece I saw at, I believe it was Michael's, if not, then it was Hobby Lobby. But I liked it and I decided I wanted to show y'all how y'all can make it for y'all So let's jump on in and I'll show you everything needed. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need some chain link. Now I did get this from Michaels for a different project so I already had it. But you can probably look around and see where you can get some cheap. You know, I can't promise you Dollar Tree has any. But you know, craft store, Walmart, they do have chain. So you need some of that. You're going to need some of these bigger bells that you get from Dollar Tree. You're going to need a seven total. You can pick whatever color you wanted. I picked green. But they come in red, green, silver, and gold. And you can also look around at other places too. So you're going to need that. And you're going to need some of these little bitty red well not red but you need some of these little bitty bells I picked red again you could pick whatever color you wanted I wanted my piece to be red and green because to me that's Christmas so you are need that you're also going to need some of these jump rings we have this size is a bigger size we're going to use for the big rings I mean bells not rings and then this size is a little bit smaller. I do not know these sizes. I'm not too familiar with jewelry stuff. But this is what I'm going to use for the mini bells. So you're going to need that. You're going to need some jewelry tools. You can use just regular pliers that have the little stuff that uh, markings in it that makes sure that you grip it good. But these are more like jewelry things. So you're going to need two of those, and then you're going to need twine or ribbon or something like that. I'm using twine. I have two different sizes. This is going to be for the hanging part, and then I'm going to make a bow with this. And you're going to need scissors, and I'm going to use some hot glue. You do not have to use hot glue. So we're going to jump on in and get started. Alright y'all, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show y'all how to do the wire and let me make sure I did this right so I want to do about 13 links so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take 14 Number 14, and I'm going to open it. And I'm doing this because the opening's at the top and it just makes it easier. So we're going to open this link if it lets me. And I'm going to pull my 13 out, and I hope I did right. And I'm going to close them back. Now, I might not have it big enough because these are pretty small loops, but we're going to go from there and if I need to add more, I will. So, I feel like I'm going to need more because this is not a lot. Let me do a bigger one just in case. Hold on. Alright, so I got my two different sizes of the chain and I really think it's probably going to be the longer one because this one just looks way too short. But I can do something with that so it's not a big deal. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our jump rings and we're going to need seven of them. Because what you're going to do is you're going to open it just like I did with the chain. And you're going to slide the bell on it. And just close it up for now. Because you just want to get it all ready for what we're about to be doing. 
And like I said, you're going to do that with all seven of the big bells. I'm just going to call them green because that's the color I picked. Oops, sorry. Open close. And you want to make sure when you open these rings, you do to the side. You go, let me show you the hole. I don't know if you can see it. There's my hole. And I'm going to take, and I'm going to pull like that. Because if you pull out, it tears up the ring. And you don't want to tear up the ring. I didn't do it enough, sorry. I was too busy talking. So you want to do from side to side, not pull apart. Now, if you're someone who likes to craft like I do, I know this is where you're getting your ideas also, but just walking around a store or looking online and seeing something that you really like and then making it for less, even if you, even if say you spend like $20 making it, if it's like a two, $300 uh, piece you've saved a lot of money and you still got it, it does you still got what you want it for a fraction of the cost and even if it doesn't come out looking exactly like it because that's really hard to do it's still basically what you want it and you got it for again a fraction of the cost of buying it I think that's just so cool to do But that's like that um, Venus flytrap monster thingy I did for Halloween de decoration. That was a $200 piece. And yes, the I spent a little bit of money on the stuff I used for the head. But I'll tell you right now... I did not spend $200 making that. And I do want to add some more stuff to it, of course, but again, it's not going to cost $200 for me to make that. So, I got accidentally did this one. Oh, that's good enough. All right, so now we're going to move on to the next step. All right, so now that we have the jump rings on each one of the bells, I'm gonna take the longer piece of chain, it's like 22, 23 links, because these are some pretty big bells. I don't know what I was thinking with the smaller one. And we're gonna attach them. There are also other ways you could do it. If you don't wanna use chain, if you have big jump rings, you can actually make the chain out of just jump rings and attach it that way, but we're going to use this chain because this is what I have. I just wanted to get that out there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to take the first bell, and we're going to open the jump ring back up now that we're ready to use it, and we're going to go down a few of them sorry I went down four I think that'll be good and we're gonna put the first one on there There it is. The first one's on there. So, oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, give me a second and we're going to move on. Alright, sorry about that. I had to think about what I was going to do just to make sure I'm doing this right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take, if it lets me do what I want it to do.
and we're gonna open the next one and we're gonna put it on the same one that one's on if you'll do what I want to do there we go and then we're gonna close it off again And now we're gonna move on to the next one. And what we're gonna do with this one, if I can keep it in my hands, after we open it, we're gonna go down one link in the chain. And we're gonna put it in there. Or we're gonna drop it like I just did. Sorry. Let's try this again. Where I don't drop it this time. Again, close it up. show y'all what it looks like. Give me one second. So that's where we're at right now. So I went down to the fourth. I'm sorry y'all. Just to remind you, I went down to the fourth one and did the two and then I went down one more and did that. So now I want to go down eight. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. I got butter fingers. Let me try something. Ha ha. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is where we're going to put it on at. And just so I don't lose spot, I'm going to leave that on there. Sorry, y'all. This is like crazy. Right. So open up the next one. Sorry, yeah. And put it on there. Now I'm going to close it off and then I'm going to count to make sure I do have eight in between. Or eight at the end. It should be nine at the end, not eight. But I'm going to count from the bottom and make sure there's nine spots left. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I do. So I got it in the right spot. So then we're just going to keep doing that. And again, we're going to put this in the same spot as the last one. And then the next one is going to go one underneath it. So let me get it going.
Let's close it off. Now, the last one is going to go on the very bottom one. So, let's get to it. I had to find it, y'all. And it goes on the very bottom. And then we're going to close that off and drop it like I'm so good at doing. And let me show y'all what it looks like. As soon as I find it. This is a little awkward. There's no, that's not it. There's the, it's hiding from me, y'all. I kid you not. Every time I think I got it, it runs away. Got it. Of course, you won't do that. All right. Give me a second. There you go. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. And there it is so far. And so now we're going to move on to the next step. All right, y'all. So we're going to take the little ones and we're going to basically do the same thing. We're going to add a jump ring, the small jump ring to the bells. And these ring a little bit, but they're more for decorative purposes. But we're going to go ahead. And see what this looks like. Because I, I think this would be cute. And I'm gonna lie to you and say it's definitely gonna be cute. Because sometimes we get ideas and it's overkill. But we will see. But I'm not too too concerned about it because if this doesn't work, I have an idea that I'm gonna do with this and I will show y'all if this does not come out the way I want it to. And if it does come out the way I want to, I'll probably still show y'all because I think it's a cute little idea. Just give me a second. And the awesome thing with this project is you can make it with anybody. So if you want to do crafts with your kids or just another family member, this is a simple, easy project that anybody can do. But I do want to point out one thing. If you are to use the jump rings, like I said, instead of chain, make sure you count it out because if you use bigger jump rings and I use chain, the size of chain, you're gonna use you're gonna need less. So just make sure you space it all out evenly. Alright, now we're gonna move to the next step. Alright. 
So how I'm going to try this, sorry I got lost. How I'm going to try this is I'm going to take these. And first I got to find the end that's hiding from me. There it is. And I'm going to put three of them on there like I did the green ones. And it's going to be two above here, I think it was. Right. Yeah. Is where I want it. And I'm going to just do one of these sets of three to see if I like it. I did not mean to drop this. So. I am such a klutz. And if I like it, I'll do the other one. And if I don't, then I will just take it off and do something else. So. Whoopsie. The bell came off. A huge deal. I just put the bell back on there. It's a little hard to do this when you have so much already on here, but I'm going to get it done and show y'all. It's the last thing I do. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, Halloween and Christmas are my absolutely favorite holidays. Don't get me wrong, I like Easter. I'm big in the celebrating family. So, we do a lot. We even go down and bring my uncle food for Christmas and Thanksgiving. Because he's by himself and we want him to have a good holiday too. Alright, so let's see how this come out looking. Let me find my little thing. I don't mind it y'all. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So we're going to go ahead and do the last one. And then I'll just go ahead and show y'all something else you can do with these in that little piece I did. That little eight I did. And we'll move on. This actually came out pretty cute so far. So, one, two, three. If I can get it up there. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Oops, it came loose. the last one I am so excited to I can't, I'm so excited I can't talk I'm so excited to see what this looks like when I'm 100% done with it y'all just do what I want and we'll be all good give me a second there we go. I had it too close to the top. 
And don't worry about the bells falling off. I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix that little problem. So. Let me find where that, that bell came from right here. Look, I found it that easy. I hate when it does this. There it is, done. Well, it's not done, but the bells are on there. I'll show you what it looks like so far. There's what it looks like. I think it is super cute. I am very happy with it. I think I did something wrong. Oh, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna have to bring these top, these bottom ones down one. I did it the wrong way. So I just need to take these top two and bring them down. Apparently I count it wrong, but I like the top one better, so I'm glad I count it wrong. I just would have realized, I just wish I would have realized I count it wrong. If that makes any sense to y'all. Let's say it. Oops. I just had it. <laughs> now I am complete butterfingers with this stuff. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. There you are. I got you this time. You're not falling. show y'all one more time. I'm so happy with this so far, y'all. I am not hating on it. And there it is. I think it's really cute. So now we're going to move on to the next step. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take whatever you're using for the hanger and you're going to add it to this. And I don't Think I'm gonna be able to do what I think I'm gonna be able to do, but we will see. Yeah, I thought so. So what I'm gonna do is just to make it a little bit easier, I'm gonna take one of my little fast my little fastings, my little jump rings. And I'm gonna put the twine through it. Which I could have just opened it and did it that way, but I was gonna tie it off and then I changed my mind. So just go ahead and open it. Set your twine in it. Then you gotta find your top. It's 
sorry, technical difficulties. So you're gonna take your jump ring and you're gonna slide it through the very top piece of the chain. And then you're gonna close it off. And now you can tie your piece. And I don't wanna to make too big of a piece because of a hoop because it's just gonna be dangling on something. A hook, a push pin, a nail, you know, whatever. And you're just gonna knot it. And there is my hook. So I'm gonna cut the excess off. And now, I mean, I'm not done, but I'm gonna go ahead in a little bit and show you what to do to make sure your jump rings don't open. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all how to keep the stuff from coming undone. I just add glue. They have different kinds of glue. I use my hot glue. It's fun. And I'm gonna put it in every spot. That might come loose. Cause I don't want them to come out. So if they're glued, they're not gonna come out. Okay, so the last thing I want to do for this part is to make a bow. And because my twine is a little thick, I went for a bigger piece. And I don't want a huge bow, I really don't. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I don't want a huge bow, so I'm just gonna loop. If you'll do it. And there's my bow. It's a little shoestring bow. That's all I needed it to be. It doesn't have to be perfect. Sorry, ignore that. Right, and now I'm just gonna add some glue to keep it from doing anything more than what I want it to. And then I'm gonna cut off the bottom part. And I'm gonna add some glue to that too just to make sure it stays. Together. I don't want it to tear up because twine tends to unravel. Alright, so there's my bow. I'm pretty happy with it. So the all that's left to do now is to take and attach it to my piece. So It does what it wants to do, y'all. I swear. There we go. 
And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it through the top also where the same one the hanger was attached through. And then I'm just going to close it off like I've been doing all day. And again, just to make sure I have no problems, I'm going to add just a little touch of hot glue to the end of the, the jump ring so that they don't come apart. And there you have this cute little decor piece for your house for Christmas. Now I promise you I'll show you a little something with the smaller one so we're going to get right on that. Alright y'all, so here I have a selection of green and red bells. Which actually the mini green ones look bigger than the red, but it's fine. I'm going to do four red and three green. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing we did with the other one. We're going to take and add a jump ring to each one of them. If my fingers do what I want it to do. Again. There it is. And we're going to do that for each piece. Alright y'all, so there y'all have all seven of them on jump rings. Three green, four red. So now we're going to take the piece that I cut way too small, well I didn't cut, but you know, and we're going to add it to it. And what we're going to do is there's 13 pieces on here. So I'm going to take three, no I'm going to take, my brain's not functioning right. I'm going to take about two pieces and leave it empty. So. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take a green and we're going to open it back up and on the third one, if I can get it to do it, we're going to put it on there. And as we go, we're going to glue to help hold it shut so they don't keep coming off. Alright, now we're going to take a red one, sorry, and do the same thing. I'm going to put it on the same one. Maybe. It does what I want it to do. I hate when it does this. Behave. There we go. Please ignore that, y'all. And then close it off. Alright. So now we're going to take the green one. And we're going to go one in there one under. I can't even talk. So as you can tell this is going to be a lot like the big one that we did. Just slightly different. And there are many different ways you can do even the bigger one. You just got to try different things until you get how you like it. So. Again like I said, glue it on there. And then we move on. All right, y'all. I was a little bit off on how many I need. So this is the little thing I made. Like I said, there's 13 links in this chain. And I used five green and five red. And I did, I switched it out on each one. And in between each one of these, there is two. So you do three links to start because you're going to put a 
I haven't got there yet, but you're gonna put a um, jump ring on the top one and you're gonna add a, what's it called? I'm sorry, my brain's not working. A keychain ring. And then after that, so you got that one and you'll go down two and on the third spot, yeah, third spot, that's when you'll start. And after you do your first three, you'll go down three more spots and on that third spot, so there'll be two empty ones in between each group. And then out at the very bottom, the only difference between down there is there's only one between it and the other three. So, but it's super cute. And now let me show you about the last part. So like I said, we're gonna take a jump ring. Let me find my pieces. And we're gonna open it up, if I don't lose it. I'm having problems today, y'all. Simple butterfingers. Alright, so, we're gonna open it up, and we're gonna put it on the top one. And, I was not planning on making this, so I do not have the um, keychain to do it. So you're just going to add the keychain to it if and when you have it. There it is. And then you're just going to close it. And when I get a keychain, I will open that, put the keychain thing on, ring on there, and then close it and glue this jump ring so that again it stays good but that is literally it for that and I think they both came out super cute again that is it for today's project and if you liked this project please 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 like share subscribe and comment down below because it does help my channel grow and I will see y'all next time bye